In this video, we'll be solving problems involving parallel lines cut by a transversal. The problem that we'll look at is to find the measures of angles 1, 2, 3, and 4, given that line M is parallel to line N. So we have these two lines uh, cut by this transversal. Now, whenever you have parallel lines cut by a transversal, you know that you have angles um, that are congruent. We'll be using for this problem uh, the theorem that says same side interior angles are supplementary. So we'll use same side interior angles. are supplementary. So our same side interior angles would be angle 2 and angle 3. So the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. Well, we're given that angle 2 is 9x plus 9 degrees. So let's put that in there. Add it to, and then angle 3 is given as 7x minus 5 degrees. And those two added together is 180. So let's go ahead and solve this equation for x. We can combine like terms, 9x and 7x is 16x. And then 9 minus 5 is 4. To solve for x, let's subtract 4 from both sides. These will cancel. And we have 16x is equal to 176 and then divide by 16 on both sides. These will cancel, and x is equal to 11. Now, if x is equal to 11, we can find the measure of angle 2 by substituting 11 in this expression for x. So we have 9 times 11 plus 9. Uh, this is 99 plus 9 which is 108. The measure of angle 2 is equal to 108. That's degrees. Now, because angle 1 and angle 2 are vertical angles, we know that angle 1 is also 108. So I'll just write that here. The measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2, which is equal to 108. We know that angle 2 and angle 4 are corresponding angles, and when lines are parallel cut by a transversal, the corresponding angles are equal. So angle 4 and angle 2 are also equal to 108. So let me also write that angle 4 is equal to 108. And the only angle left to find is angle 3. We know that angle 3 and angle 4 form a linear pair. I think 180 minus 108 is 72 degrees. So the measure of angle 3 is equal to 72 degrees. Now if you had thought, let's sub in 11 for this expression, we could have done that and got measure of angle 3 equals 7 times 11 minus 5. So measure of angle 3 is 77 minus 5. Angle 3 is 72. So either way, we get the, the same answer.